Yes, I'm looking a little scruffy. It's Friday, it's been a long week. We've killed a lot of geese, lots of ducks. This is my double hunt today. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. You know what to do. <laughs> I didn't I didn't film this morning. It was just too too rushed, too busy yesterday. Th this hunt's been here for a few days and it's tucked in a corner and we we're gonna hunt it, and then the guys went 40-40 yesterday. Long story short, we're in here now. Before I even had I was in the blind, I was just getting some camera stuff ready. A flight was just like 300 yards out coming in and pitching hard. They go, Claudio, Claudio. All right, well, I'm gonna make this quick because Apparently there's another flight on the deck. So I just got, I just stood behind the blind, called up me and they just whiffled over the decoys all the way. I have decoys downwind, I don't know, 200 yards or so. And once they got over those, they kept spilling air. It was cool. They killed seven out of one flight and we just killed another single. Finally had a minute to tell you what's going on. So. Go. Oh, my bad, nice shot, holy shit. Get this one, get this one. Get this one. Just don't move, don't move, don't move. Let him come. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Unfortunately, I didn't have the cameras going this morning for the pothole shoot. I figured, you know, those pothole shoots happen so fast in the morning, it'd be too dark. Anyways, it drug on until about nine o'clock, so it would have been good. It was, uh, they, they'd kind of puddled and fed there, but it ended up being more of a loafing pond, I figured, because they ended up not coming in there till about, just about eight o'clock. And then we got it all done between eight and nine o'clock. And then there we go. Looking good, guys. There you go. It was a combo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So what do you got? 40 ducks, eight geese? I think we had eight yep. geese. I went to race over here. It was too late. And the guys were scrambling a little bit. And I said to Brad, I said, Brad, you got to get to the to that spec hunt. And he did. And then uh, he said they're there. And then we got here and I had to watch the birds leave, buttoned it up and kill them, kill them, guys, kill them. <laughs> Look at that, fell nice. right in the hole. Running through the decoys. <laughs> I know he figured there's about, well, six or seven thousand. So big number of specks, handful of snows, maybe a few Canada's. Anyways, you know, we're hunting out of the, the big bush again, the upright. And, and we've got the dive bombs. And we're just, you know, we got a big, big lazy U with about 300 decoys. I put out about... I don't know, 25 or 30 snows just to light us up. This is a, well, it's probably about a thousand acre field. Another real big one, very featureless. So you you know, you, you gotta look big out here and you gotta light up. So I put some Canada uh, silhouette dive bombs out there as well. And they really pop and they're bright. And then of course, just a whole bunch of spec, uh, fully flocked spec dive bombs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's working. I mean, we had two flights. I got caught kind of with my pants down getting in the blind. And uh, that last flight, I think, saw me just I was getting in. There's a little bit of motion by the time we got the door shut. But pretty cool. Anyways, uh, I got to get in the blind. Let's, let's wrap this up. And it's Friday. I have company coming for steak dinner. And these guys are ready to get back and have some, uh, some cocktails if we can wrap this up. Here we go. Be ready, just be ready. They're coming closer. Just two in the decoys. Ready, ready? Get these two guys right there, right there. One. And a duck. <laughs> right in the hole, look at that. <laughs> go, go! Alright, well, here we go. The walk back to the truck. It's a long walk, but it is not. The walk of shame. Uh, it was a good walk. So we shot eight geese this morning and needed 32 to wrap up the day and one duck. We ran one duck short this morning. I don't know how that happened. I had uh, I had 40 on the clicker, all of them right there dead on the pond. And you know, I counted them on the pond and picked them up. We were one short, so it happened. So we ended up with one duck tonight and 32 geese, a mix of specs and little canadas i mentioned this earlier in the video i kind of got caught by surprise i mean i wasn't even ready with the cameras and the first flight the guys just said hey look at that they're doing it i look out i'm not even in the blind and uh 
I think there was eight or nine of them just spilling air, like whiffling hard, coming in, and and I mean they just kept coming. They did it, and they, I mean they killed seven of them. First flight, I went, ooh, that's not gonna take long. Of course, that jinxed me, even though I have a no jinx, jinx, jinx rule. But anyways, the big flights, you know, we were in a big upright in the middle of a big thousand acre field. Very flat, very featureless. You could tell they were getting over the decoys and they were, they were fine until they got to that 45 yard, 50 yard, they flared. And I don't like shoot them that far if we can avoid it unless they're straight over us. And then, you know, we scratched at a few. We killed a bunch in the decoys. Twos and threes in the hole. We had a couple flights do it. Go guys, go, go, go before they slide. Nice. Oh, nice shot. One more, one more. Oh. We, we shot at three, I think it was, yeah, it was Canada's, and one of them just decided to bank. It was all of 75 yards. And uh, Horace got out, he could have shot him even sooner, and he just kept getting out in front of him, one shot, whack! Down he went, stone dead. I know the art of, of waterfowling is to kill him in close. Go, 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 roll him, boy! Nice, 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 nice. Oh my gosh. But I, but I can tell you this, when you're a commercial operator like me, the bottom line is these guys wanna enjoy hunting and, and they love that final number, right? They love to shoot a limit of birds and that's what they're paying for. So it's my job to give my guides the tools and myself the tools to get the birds in front of them and it's also my job to give them the tools to shoot them and kill them. And, you know, I've said this a thousand times, you know, we're not shooting these extra full chokes. We're shooting a Benelli factory choke, improved cylinder with a heavy hammer too. And you can kill a goose at 70 yards all day long if you hit them. You got to hit them and they, they just crumple. So, you know, you, you, you have the confidence or I have the confidence that we're not gonna cripple birds. You know, you got 15% of those pellets are bismuth, and all you need is one of them in there, and they'll either break a wing or tear ribs apart and lungs and heart, break a neck, hit them in the head, whatever, and they come down, and it's and they come down hard. So, you know, for whatever it's worth, if you love to hunt, and, and I know I've got a ton invested in this game, and all of you have a ton invested in the game and it's all relative. I mean, if you have $3,000 worth of decoys or 5,000 or 2,000 or 200, you're also investing a bunch of time and just go out there with the right tools, you know, and it sure helps. And none of us like to go out and get beat and frustrated by these things. And I mean, it's part of the game to, you know, see them come in and decoy and it makes us all happy. And that's what we love. You know, that's what I love. I love decoying them. Look at this, look at this. Just be patient. Be patient. Be pa I'm not even going to use my call so I can videotape this. Just be patient. Left side, right out in front. Watch what's gonna happen here. Be ready. For God's sakes, John, what about your gun? Get ready. Hold on, one more pass. One more pass. Out front, guys. Once the hole's got a bunch of birds in it and they're in a stall. But like tonight, when they don't decoy real well, for whatever reason, you know, if they're inside or they come drifting straight over, it's a beautiful shot and the hunters love that shot. I mean, you know, you can shoot, shoot them out there. So at least you know you're comfortable and you're not crippling birds. Look at that. Picture time. All right, Jake. Good stuff, guys. This is actually video, so I'm gonna make you hold them even longer. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I know Jason was only a couple geese short last I checked, so I think we had another perfect day for these guys. 
80 ducks, 80 geese. So that right there is an afternoon cleanup for two two groups. That was pretty good. That's a big hunt. Woohoo! Horse, give us a hey ho. <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> it's just starting now. Yeah. You have huh? fun? Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's crown time. That's it. <laughs> That's right. It's Friday. I might have one too. It's crown time. Right. Time to sign off and go for supper.